Hi ladies and gentlemen, I have two projects and um, I want to show you what I use first. So I use this spellbinder die and it's Parisian motifs and I use this one. And the paper sack I use is from the, uh, the Prime Rose DCW. This is the paper stack I use. I use this trim. And I used oops this trim. And I used this one. And this is one of my favorites. It's coming out like a dark gray, but this is like a pale silver. So cute. And then I have used flatbacks and seam binding and prima flowers. So let me show you here first. This is a tag I did. And I use Sherry Baldy Stop stamp and let me get the stamp really quick. See where I left her. I think I'll find her at the end of the video. <laughs> um, I'll put the link below where I got her from. So I use her and I color her with my Spectrum Noir markers and some Prismacolor pencils. I use some bling mesh. I just put it everywhere. The flat backs. And here I tucked in the crochet lace. And here's the die. And I try to angle her at the side. Not too much angle, but not too straight. And the bow, I just grabbed a piece of cardboard and um, rolled it around three times and then just tie it. And I put a bling piece here and a flat back. And on this side is the trim. And the flower here are from Prima. And here's the corrugated cardstock. I was, just had a little piece left and I was going to throw it away, but I decided to make it to a banner and do it sideways. And the back is blank for now. So here's my first project. I hope you ladies like it. And for the second project, this is a, um, as you were calling, an easel card. And here's the stamp I use. Sorry, I just found it. Sherry Baldy stamp. And she is Messy Bessie Messy Jessie. So she's super cute. The next one I use, she is a Digi. And I just found out how to do Digis. Like, it was so great because I had a couple. And I just had them stored in my computer. And I just found out how to use them. How to print them out. So here, here it is. And if you follow me on Facebook, I showed um step by step how I colored her. And she's super cute. Sorry for the shakiness. Um I used this recollection trim with the bling. And here's that silver um trim I put here, and then I use some of this blue lace. And I distressed the edge of all this um, note paper with my scissors. I know there's a tool, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to spend that much money when I get to steal my scissors. And I put a piece of bling here, and that just was in my stash, a little piece. And this is from a recollection paper pad, which I don't have the name on hand. And then this piece right here. Is a piece from Michaels, and I just um, inked it up with my Memento Tuxedo ink, just sponged it, and then um, let it dry outside. So here she is, and then I don't know if you could tell on camera, but I use um, gold pen to color her crown, and her eyes are so much better when you print them out, so more bold. And I still need to add glossy essence to her eyes, and this car was inspired by Rena. I put the link below. She's making super cute cards. And then this is how you stand her up. Sorry for the shakiness. Like that. And just put the message here with the receptionist. Sorry for the shakiness, lady. So this is my two cards. And hopefully you can see the inspired because it's kind of dark in here. It's early in the morning. But these are the two cards I want to share with you. The card and the tag. 
So thank you guys for watching and um have a wonderful day. Goodbye.